Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new around here, hi, my name is Melissa, or Missa. Welcome to, I don't know, sponsored by Iron Brew, it's not sponsored by Iron Brew. I just bought this. So today, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, we're playing with the Beauty Bay New Mood Palette. This is the newest palette that they've released, and I didn't buy this, I was not going to get it. I said in multiple chat groups that this was the ugliest palette Beauty Bay's ever released, but Amy decided to send it to me to try it. So here we are trying out this palette. As always with my new palette reviews I'm gonna do a look with it. This one obviously. I'm gonna swatch the whole thing and then give you my thoughts. So this is what it looks like. Absolutely outrageously grim packaging. I hate it so much. I don't mind the packaging. I just hate that pattern. It just does nothing for me. Anyway inside this is what it looks like and it is prettier in person like the shades are nicer than the pictures I saw online but still not my favourite beauty pee palette to look at when it arrived. Do my thoughts on this palette change as we go through the video? You'll have to wait and see. Anyway I'm gonna jump at the swatches now doing my arm not gonna do anything. I don't think I've shaved my armpits have I? I'm grim get over it. I'm not gonna prime my arm. Nothing. Let's let's jump into it and they've got really live laugh love names let me just tell you that first up is it gonna focus that's the thing because i'm really hating my camera today let me zoom in a bit first up we have gracious i am gracious then we have curious it's actually a really stunning brown shade it's like caramel grateful Telling you, it's live, laugh, love, in it. Boring colour. Intimate, which is like a dual chrome, like kind of peachy, pinky bronze. And then we have tender. I didn't use this on my eyes, but I did use it actually as a wee bit of blush. And it worked. I did go over it with yellow though, because it was too pink. But anyway, powerful. I'm going to try and get this all on one arm. Powerful. Optimistic. The names. Whatever, it's fine because the colour is just like the swatches are swatching well, aren't they? Another dual chrome euphoric, which is like a pink brown green. Oh, you can see the shift there. Passionate. <gasps> Come on. I know, a look where I didn't use the hot pink. Free. Definitely still a pop pink on my finger. It's a really pretty uh, like pink shimmer. I actually use it as a highlight on my face. My under the brow highlight is, I've not swatched it yet, but I've used this pink a lot on my face highlight and I think it's really pretty actually. Okay, focused. I'm never gonna get this all on one arm. Focused. Really pretty colour. Oh, you wait. <laughs> you ready for this? My window's open, sorry, it's so hot. Inspired. <coughs> what? Is it blue? Is it purple? Is it both? Is it just sickening? Yes, mum. Bold. Beauty Bay never really let me down with the black eyeshadow. Energetic. That's me. Creative. That's kind of me. Wow! Yeah, I'm not going to fit the next row on, so I'll just show you these rows up close just before we get into the very last one. Obviously, you know where my heart lies. It's with that one. Let's be honest. Sickening. Ugh. It's gorgina. Let's just do the last row on here and then I can do that thing, you know? Okay, I struggle. Serene. This shade, I don't know if it's picking up for you, probably because I might focus, which doesn't help. It's like a, I don't know, it's kind of like blue-green. Sometimes it looks more blue, sometimes it looks more green. It's That's what's under my brow and on my inner corner. Content. Stunning shade. Sorry, I really struggle to swatch on this side. Confident. I'm 
This really should have been called the positive affirmation. Well, there's a minute and then the Blessed. I don't know why they threw this brown down here away from the other browns. But they did because I completely ignored that it existed in all the brown that I used today. And then last up is Joyful. Um, Joyful sometimes. So that, that is the palette I'll swatch there. What, what are your initial thoughts? A, all swatch incredibly well, no issues with that. But what are your thoughts on the colour story? Like, see when I look at this palette, I don't go, oh yes, that makes a lot of sense. I think what a, a mishmash jimble jamble of weird shades all together. Um, that's my initial thoughts. However, I was able to do a look that I think is really pretty. And uh, yeah, anyway, if you want to see me do that look and then hear my thoughts on this, whether you should buy it or not at the end of the video, keep watching. Hello, my lovely friends. I'm starting off with the black. Obviously, I'm just looking at my monitor right now and it looks so atrocious. Uh, yeah, because it's like a like blown out kind of look. I, I'll start with the black anyway, but I do it in like a weird kind of box shape because then I get the same height on the inner corner and the outer corner. I don't know if it makes sense, but it does because I've got hooded eyes and my outer corner is like more droopy than my inner corner. Anyway, and then I'm just skiffing that with a fluffier brush. There's a lot of birds outside. Yeah, it's noisy because my window's open because it's very warm and uh, just blending that about. Then I'm going in with Powerful, Powerful, which is the dark brown and I was trying to kind of blend as I went today again, just takes up less time and uh, popping that on. I actually take it down really low on the outer corner, like far lower than it needs to be because I'm going to clean it up. And A, it makes for a way more satisfying cleanup, but B, it means I don't miss any gaps that I need to then go fill back in. Uh, then I'm using Curious, which is one of my favourite shades in here. It reminds me of a brown in my Dose of Colours Frankation palette. It's so stunning. It's just the kind of like caramelly brown that I find very nice. Um, the browns in here remind me of that Beauty Bay like nine pan brown palette that I gave like a 10 out of 10 review to. It's that kind of like browns in here. It's it's really lovely. I love when I go out focus on here. Really helps. Uh, optimistic. Something we all are, I'm sure. Another gorgeous shade, like a really mustardy brownish yellow. It's just perfect. I was going to do like some kind of like rainbow look and like throw all of these colours, like bright fun colours on, but then I thought try and do something a little bit more different, Melissa, even though this is very similar to looks I've done before, but hey ho. That's, it's my channel, what are you going to do? Come and punch me in the face? Don't think so. Then I'm going to be joyful. Uh, just all around the perimeter of the look. I love doing voiceovers. I actually hate doing the voiceover, but doing a voiceover video takes half as much time as doing like a chatty video. So that's what it looks like. Obviously it looks atrocious. Uh, embarrassing, even. But this is when we go back in and blend it all together again and just uh, re-intensify, add a bit, take a bit away, add a bit, take a bit away. Don't know how long this little clip is so I'm just going to sing you a song. Oh, I'm not going to sing you a song. That would be a bad idea. If you watch my lives, if you're a sausage, you'll hear how much I sing. Look at, see the clean up. I left this in intentionally because I think it's so satisfying and the blend looks better like once you clean it up. Centimeters in the Louise paint, I think it's shade 0 0.5 and obviously I'm going in with Inspired in the middle because I couldn't not. Like, I think I came about eight times, that's really gross, sorry. The floodgates opened about nine times while I applied this shade because it's so beautiful. Put it on my finger first and then the brush to get up to the edges, even though I don't really need to because I decided to go in with liner afterwards because I thought this look was a bit boring. And then I'm using Confident to blend it into the black on the inner and outer corner. I really didn't blend very well uh, this cut crease bit, I don't think, but that's showbiz baby. You know what I mean? What was that noise? <laughs> and then this is me like, oh, this is really boring. You know what I mean? So what am I going to do? I'm going to add a line of water activated liner and more gems. And then this is a bit more of the P. Louise base, just on the inner corner, because when you put a bit of base down before your inner corner colour, it's sexes up a million times and this shade 
also touches my bum in ways I can't describe. I like put a, like a lot more of this on, like off camera towards the end and I just love it. Uh, so that is how we're looking. Where's my wine? I'm getting dry mouth again. Hey, right, it's a Saturday night, I'm allowed about wine. This uh, Mitchell pencil on the waterline, perfect for this look. Bright royal blue, it's stunning. And then the lower lash line is very, very easy, breezy, beautiful, cover girl, just the black and then the blues blended out. I don't know what else I do. More of the inner corner highlight and I also put that underneath my brow because it's stunning. A bit more on that side too. That's what it's looking like. Pretty grim, but obviously with the base and stuff on, it's going to improve in it. You know how it is on this channel. <laughs> you know how it is. Uh, that's it. Put the lash, can't tell you what the lashes are, but I did use the new Huda lash glue and it was the tits. Let me tell you that. I really like how this came out. I think it's alright actually. What's wrong, chicken nuggets? Come and see me. Come here, sausage. You're such a big, 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 big boy. You're so large. The size of you. Everyone misses sausage. Please don't kill me. Okay, first off. I really like my makeup today, like the eye makeup and my skin makeup. I went like full coverage, kind of old school Melissa and I, I like it. I like the gems, I like the, the freckles. I don't think I've faded the eyeshadow perfectly in my cut crease, but whatever, it doesn't matter. So, I actually love this palette. I think it has a lot of very pretty individual shades. As a palette, I think it is not very attractive and not very appealing but as a palette to go along with other palettes 10 out of 10 quality 10 out of 10 as always would be a bit no qualms on the quality 10 out of 10 10 out of 10. this blue shade is so unique these like paler blues are sick this green this pink these yellows this like mustardy brown this palette is fantastic I could probably do a few more looks with it without adding any other palettes in which makes me happy because it's got the black in it so I've got all the depth that I want. Excuse me. I've lost my train of thought. So yeah, I, like I said, thought it was incredibly ugly. I still think it is quite ugly as a whole but I see its merit now that I've played with it. Done a look that I'm really happy with, like the browns in this palette are stunning and so easy to blend. That blue is a pop. That Imagine this look with like that green in the middle, that would look sick too, do you know what I mean? It's a great palette. I still think other Beauty Bay palettes are far nicer to look at in all aspects, inside and out, but if this palette intrigues you, it is not expensive and for the quality you get, they could charge double and I wouldn't moan at the price, like for the quality, do you know what I mean? Like I would moan, because we're in a cost of living crisis and they shouldn't double the price, but you know what I mean? Anyway, it's fantastic. Thank you, Amy, for sending it to me. It's gonna look so good, beside all my other Beauty Bay babies. Yeah, how the turntables have flipped on me and this palette, to be quite honest. So yeah, that is my thoughts, that is my review, that is my swatches, that is my demo, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna go edit this video now so I can get it up for tomorrow morning. It is six o'clock, look at sausage too much and I need this up by 9am so I'm gonna go thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up it really helps me out leave me a comment down below what palette I was meaning to show you Glaminatrix sent me they're nearly neutral so I'm thinking this will be my next video so subscribe if you want to see that and uh, from me and sausage who's staring at me hasta la vista baby Ooh, I've got a dry mouth Catch you on the flip side.